Drinking a little rise and shine. Apples, pineapples, grapes, mangoes, and ginger. That's good. Good morning. Hi, TikTok and YouTube and everybody else that's watching. Welcome. I mean, let TikTok do its thing and bring y'all in here. If you're watching this on the replay, come join us on TikTok. We're Black Women in the Grants. Good morning. Checking my heat because I'm already hot. We'll see how long this lasts. Y'all come in, say hello, let's chat. Y'all ready? Welcome to the Black Women in Grants page. Do y'all follow this page? If not, go ahead and click follow real quick. Don't take you long. Become one of the 61,000 of y'all that's here already. And come join us. Welcome, good morning. Say hello when you come in the room. Talk to me and let me know. Good morning, Naya. What's your business? Let's talk about grants, girl. Welcome. Let's tap our screen. Like the live. Tell people we live. We're ready to chat. All things being a black woman, for profit, small business owner, seeking grants. Is that you? <laughs> Are you a black woman, for profit, small business owner? Good morning, Cindy. Y'all let me know. Talk to me. If so, what is your business? Naya has an herbal business and re, re, resin craft business. Resin is so cool. I love watching people pour it on TikTok. Congratulations. Are you looking for a grant, Naya? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC. I train black Christian women to become certified life coaches online in one day. We also apply for and win grants. We won over $51,200 hundred dollars in grants and grant funded opportunity and so much more on the way i'm here to answer y'all's questions we have a mentorship program where we currently have five spots that are open up for you today if you want to come join us check out blackwomeningrants.com i'll be breaking down some of the mentorship program today as we hang out and get your questions answered but if you want to beat me over there again it's blackwomeningrants.com and come and join us. Got like 130 of y'all in the program. And growing. Got on my Black History shirt from five and below. Y'all see me. Got in there early for y'all went through the sizes and I couldn't find my size. I don't know what my hair is doing, but hey y'all, we here. Now you see it. Thank you and no LLC yet, so it's been it's been tough. What are you seeking grants for, Naya? Who else here? Is seeking grants for their black woman owned for profit small business. Y'all talk to me real quick. Thank y'all for the likes and the hearts. I see you. Who else is seeking grants? Have y'all ever done a grant search? We're gonna wrap up part three that we started on Monday, did part two on Wednesday, and today is the wrap up and the recap of what we've been talking about when it comes to seeking grants, looking for grants. Finding grants, or what I like to call the research process out of the three R formula. Research, read, and review, okay? So in the research phase of a grant that's currently available, I read through their fine print. Y'all know the terms and conditions, the legalese, the stuff y'all don't be reading. I be reading it. Like, let me see what they say. And child, they so strict. So we're going to go through some stuff they're telling y'all if you want to win their money, they better not see this stuff on your social media. So I got a list of what this stuff is. As I mentioned, we started talking about it earlier this week, and we're going to wrap it up today. And if y'all have questions, let me know. I'm here for it. Naya is seeking grants for startup and funding supplies. She's in, you're in MA, Massachusetts. Cool. There are 15 others here. Do y'all have businesses? Are you black? Are you a woman? Is your business for profit? Are you seeking grants? Talk to me. I'm very talk to engaging, approachable. I want to get your questions answered. I want to ask y'all some questions, but you got to say something. If you hear stalking, hey, I'm cute today, so hold on, let me. There we go. Make sure you get that screenshot. I don't know. If you just hear being nosy, there you go. You were just served. Okay. There we go. Hey, Tracy. What's your business, girl? 
And if you've told me before or you've been here before, remind me. It'd be a lot of y'all. <coughs> Anybody? <coughs> What's your business? Y'all talk to me. What do y'all do? What y'all trying to get a grant for? Let's talk. Academic and behavioral interventionist in business for 11 years, looking to grow and restructure. What you need a grant for? Shadows. Sci Sci, getting info for your black small business owning a sister cousin. What's her business? That's so nice. <coughs> Tracy's trying to start a t-shirt business. Got it. So, if a grant was available today, which it is, I got a list of four that I've already shared with some of our mentees over at blackwomeningrants.com. So, go there, join us in the mentorship program. <coughs> but, if you had access to one of the grants that was on the table for $1,000 today, which you could. What would you use the grant for? Y'all talk to me. Seeking grants for your startup interior decorating, staging, and home decor. That sounds like fun. I like making things pretty as well. Didn't realize that home decor was one of my hobbies. So I'm always looking for something to add to the house. Ain't got no room to put nothing else, but I find a space if it's cute enough. Mm -hmm. So that sounds like fun. She has a private home health business that needs grants for restructuring and to extend the brand. Lady says to start an LLC for food and beverage, fleet and clothing line. Okay, now a fleet line is like a fleet of cars or trucks or vans. Cindy has a juice business, y'all. She finally finished reading her copy of the ebook known as Finding Funding. Yay! How to find and secure debt-free, non-traditional funding for your black woman-owned small business. Cindy, did you read it or did you use the app that reads the book to you? Let me know. Jana says it's fun, but a lot of work. Ain't it, though? <laughs> That's business as a whole. Have an LLC. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What questions do you guys have um, about what you think? A grant wants to see when they find you on social media. Did y'all know that grants look you up? They ask for your socials and they look you up. What y'all think they looking for? Talk to me and then let's do a recap. I'll fill y'all in on what I think y'all need to know. Tracy said she would buy a machine she found that can press images on t-shirts. Go girl. I'm trying to buy one. I think it's a lady. She got so smart. Um, with her community here in Atlanta, they won um, number one something. It was a big deal. They voted. The community won. And she made t-shirts for the community. And I said, that is so smart. I'm going to support her just off of that. So she made t-shirts bragging that they won. And I was like, you better capitalize, hunty. So she got her Shopify link up and everything. I was like, go, girl. That was smart. Cindy says, I read it. Bought a new computer, and the computer read it to you. I love it. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. Do you do any mentoring or private education? I do both. Check out blackwomeningrants.com. Come join us in the Grant Game Mentorship there. That's our mentorship program. It's only $97 today. One-time payment gives you year-long access. We hang out once a month live on Zoom. And you get to come get your questions answered. And then we have other programs. We just wrapped up one last night. It was a four-week program for five-figure fund finders, people who are applying for $10,000 and above in their grant game. And, child, they were blown away how good the program was over these last four weeks. So now we're working on something for our next training in February. And so we share that with um, people in our mentorship program. So go to blackwomeningrants.com. I'll try to put it in the comments for y'all. And select the only option to work with me there. 
which is our mentorship called The Grant Game. So www.blackwomeningrants.com. There we go. I don't think it'll let me pin it, so capture it, screenshot it, write it down, click it, go to it real quick so that you have it. And yes, it's in the profile. Let me show y'all what that looks like. Hold on, I'm trying to pull out the charger. Oh, my little uh, baby Bapurta here. Then my niece will call it seven. <clears throat> so I love baby Bapurta. Let me go back. Let's me. Oh, Monday. Our live will be later. This is my doctor's office um, confirming my appointment. I got a mammogram. So we're going to get the girl squoles on and checked out. I ain't been in a minute. So that's where I will be. Okay. I'm usually here Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, which are at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But next Monday, I will be getting that. And then I will be getting poked in the arm for some blood work. Got to get tested for food allergies. How fun. Glad I can get it done. So. Let's just be positive, you know. So just heads up, 7up. If y'all used to hanging out with me at our regular time, I either will come on later or we'll just skip that day and I'll do it another time, okay? All right. So this is our page, Black Women in Grants. We got 61,000 of y'all there. So if you don't follow this page, you need to go ahead and follow this page, okay? That's us. That's me, girl. Um, It's backwards, I know. But when you go, it'll be front face. Mm-hmm. So this third little, or shall I say second of three lines right there, that is a clickable link if it'll let me click it. Y'all seen it? Y'all seen it? So you just click it. It takes you to our website, which is www.blackwomeningrants.com. Blackwomeningrants.com. It takes a little bit to load. There we go. And here you find the mentorship called the Grant Game. It's for you if you're a black woman, small business owner, seeking grants for your black woman-owned small business. That's Deanna Joy. She might be on here. Deanna, you on here, girl? Hey, girl. She won $55,000 using what I teach in the mentorship. So read her story, how she did that. And then you can click here where it says click here <laughs> to join the $97 mentorship program. We have Klarna, we have Afterpay, we have Cash App, and some other, Apple Pay, you know, there are all those things. Girl, no, nothing about none of that, but it's over there. And then here's the list of about 16 different goodies that come with the program. It's valued at over $700, but you get it for a one-time payment of $97, and it gives you year-long access. So, if you got questions about joining us in the mentorship program today, let me know. Don't ask me if I can hold your spot, because no. Don't ask me if I can wait to Friday, because it is Friday, okay? Anyway, we got five spots open. First come, first serve. They always get gone. So just got to let you know, you can't say we didn't have this conversation, okay? Okay. You will. Let me scroll back up. That's the private mentoring, girl, the private education. Visual representation. What you apply for, consistency. I'm thinking of what I asked that you're responding to. Maybe it'll come back to me. Not sure, Jenna, but uh, pray for me, okay? Do all grants require a credit, a credit score to be at a certain level? No, Lady Marie. Grants are not based on your credit at all. Shadow says... I still don't know what that means, Shadow. Thank you for the rose. Let's try see. So, Grana says, I'm so glad I found you. I'm in Vegas, and I just started my creative mental platform. Congratulations. Jayla says, thank you. You're welcome, Jayla. What other questions can I answer for y'all? Then we're going to dive into some stuff that uh, these grants don't want to see on y'all social medias. So, yes, the blackwomeningrants.com link is in the profile here on TikTok. For any grant, do they require? Oh, can okay, I just answer that? I shadow was sitting. Thank you, girl. Hold on. Thank you, girl. <laughs> God, I like you, man. Thank you, girl. <laughs> That's how I blink normally. <laughs> Good morning, Tootie. 
Good morning, baby cakes. Hello, tea talk. How's it going, girl? All is well. Let's chat about this last part that I took notes for y'all. There's a $10,000 grant opportunity out there that I see a lot of people are applying for. But so far, I don't think they're getting it right. So I want, I have gave this week of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday a theme of the lives that I've been doing. And I want to wrap this theme up today. We're just recapping what we've been talking about. And, and if y'all got questions, you can ask me. I'm happy to chat. And so, yeah. Okay. Social media is pretty clean. You do put... Oh, that's what... Okay, Jenna, I'm caught up. Thank you, Tudor. You just reminded me of what she was answering. I did ask y'all what you think. Grants will be looking for on your social media. How do you... You just got your LLC. How do you start off applying for a grant before you do a loan? You just go do a quick search online and look for grants for black women, small business owners, and apply. Submit your application. <sighs> Um, but yeah, Bible scriptures is cool if that's your business brand. I know it's our personal brand, you know, but some grants may consider that as self-righteous or condescending, depending on how you post the scripture. If you like, see, this is why everybody going to hell. This is why this world is take it down. If you're doing it to encourage, cause it matches the theme of what you do in your business that you're applying for the grant for, then okay. So as a recap, on Monday, we talked about how grants want your social media to have these. So make sure you got your journals ready because I'm about to tell y'all. Y'all listening? Put ready if you're ready for me to break down some of these social media tips. Like, do you want me to tell you what a grant? Look at, look at it. That means I'm serious. What a grant <laughs> wants to see on your social medias. And I know this because they put it in their terms and conditions that most of us don't read. Cindy says she ready. Tracy says she okay. So I'll talk to y'all. So y'all listen close. Everybody else. Okay. Grants. Good morning, Stacey Smith. Welcome back. They want you to be positive. They want you to be approachable. Um, it's okay that a brother is here as long as a brother remains a brother, because knowing this is for black women, for a profit, small business owners. You're welcome to come. You're welcome to stay. But in a disrespect, we will make you fly away. Y'all know them. Lyrics from the prophets, Goody Mob, straight out of Atlanta. Oh, okay. So as long as you're positive, approachable, supportive, engaging, not self-righteous, tootie, over the top, condescending, and then you're protecting the grants brand or the sponsors brand. We talked about this in class last night where if you got some old videos and you talking junk about somebody who is writing a check for a grant, girl, go delete them videos real quick. Because they can literally hire people to scour their grant potentials, social medias. They will find that video, ma'am. It will disqualify you, okay? So just keep that in mind. Make sure that the music you're using on your videos and your stories and all that is royalty free. They want it upbeat. Um, they said no sexual preferences or connotations. Y'all know what they're talking about, twerking and all that, you know. I can't do it. I'd be done pulling my back out, so I don't even try. Um, it say your past posts cannot be negative or disparaging about the grant partner. So again, let's say the partner is a big chain store, and you went in one year and had a bad experience, and you did a video about it or a post or a rant or got on your soapbox about it, and it's still up there. They're going to find it, and it will count against you, so go. They said they don't want to see you being obscene or hateful. No profanity. I know somebody told me they cuss on their socials. If that aligns with your brand, your business brand that you're applying for this grant for, check the rules and regulations. Because they saying they don't want you to be on the cuss and then this might not be a good fit. And it's okay. Just go find another grant that don't say that. You know. Ah. They say no sexual references. They say no political commentary. Makes sense, Tracy. Thank you, girl. This steps on a lot of people's toes. Our numbers drop a little bit. They get quiet, not as engaging. But I know it's helping somebody. So, let's keep going. No disparaging can't read my hand right, remarks 
about other ethnicities, religions, political figures, or recent events. We know the world is weird. Everybody got an opinion about something going on. They like, check your tone, okay? Because if we see you talking about folk, <laughs> making fun of other religions and political figures and speaking your mind over abusing your freedom of speech, you can instantly disqualify yourself. You ain't got to worry about why you didn't get it. You know why you didn't get it. So is this post and just being heard or expressing your thoughts, if that's worth you missing a $10,000 grand opportunity for your business, that's on you. That's on you. You can't say we didn't. No, okay. Okay, well, look at that. <laughs> Tita says she's been busy, be finding all grants that they're like, amen. Because guess what? It will be the first week of February next week. Like, dang, January. Okay. So get them out catches in, girl. That's a couple that's out there. Y'all better get them in. Grants also say don't be referencing drugs or alcohol. Hopefully TikTok don't flag this because I'm saying these words. You can't um, be body shaming. You can't be um, signaling pew pews. Y'all know what that is, you know. Or ammunition or demonstrating how to use it, you know. And then unsubstantial product claims. Again, if you had a bad experience with the grant's sponsor, meaning the person behind the check, the money, the funds behind the check that you're trying to get. And you'd have posted on your social, even if it was in 19, whenever Facebook or whatever came out. Child, go back through them posts and take them down. Because they're going to do a quick search and find it and be like, she's out next. And you'd be like, see, that's why I don't apply to grants because they'll never get now, sis. They told you what they were looking for. You ain't listen. So, yeah. Are there any questions? That's just a quick recap of what we talked about on Monday and Wednesday. What questions y'all got? Any ahas, thoughts, takeaways? Here's a great place to share. Share. <laughs> Let's talk about it. It ain't going to change nothing about the rules or the grant, but we can talk about it. What questions y'all got? Any ahas, takeaways, BB? <laughs> what y'all think? It? Talk to me. They are also, I do like this part. They're checking how you're moderating. So, social media tends to be all about us and how great we are, how fabulous life is, how well business is going, the good, the good, the good. And so, they're looking at if you post on your socials and people are asking you questions, like here, y'all are talking to me. They're like, is she interacting with her followers? Is she engaging with them or is she just posting and running just to be heard? Celebrities do that all the time. They just post because they know people will be on there talking, but they never come back and say anything. And that's kind of rude a little bit, but I get it. You're somebody, so. Don says, does these guidelines apply to both business and personal pages? That's a good question. Sometimes they'll ask for all your socials. Right now, I'm focusing on the business part. That don't mean you're going to make your personal private. <laughs> But this is what they will find. So think about when they Google your name and what pops up. Your socials are going to come up. So they'll see it. And you are the part of your business brand. You're the founder of the brand. So if you're, um, I was going to say the Bible says, Lord, this is not in the Bible. My coach just says it all the time. And, and there's a book called <laughs> How You Do Anything is How You Do Everything. That's probably in the Bible in a different way. <laughs> um, you shall know them by their fruit. Amen. That's the scripture in the Bible. So meaning. You can't be one way on your personal and another on your business and it's not revealing who you are because it does. However you operate in personal is how you're going to operate in business, okay? Even if you're not on social media, here's how to prepare for your business to be on social media because if a grant is asking for your business to be on social media because if they choose you and you win, they're going to say, do you agree to post your winnings on your social media? So if you ain't on there, why not? It's free. Why not? Uh, so your social media is kind of boring, but here's how you spice it up a little bit. They said, make sure you're interacting with your followers. They said, um, as far as moderating, don't be arguing. I'm going to put this in ghetto slang because they sound professional. I'm going to say how we understand it. 
Don't be on there arguing with commenters. We know people are weird. We know. Don't be on there arguing with followers about their experience with the grant sponsor, meaning the person writing the check. So if the if the if the check <laughs> is coming from a big bank or a big corporation and they don't like this sponsor and they got something to say because you don't want a grant or you applied for a grant. And they on there like now because back in doing it and you on there now because they about to write us a check. They say don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't do it. Mm -mm. I don't do it. Let them have their say. Because they said don't be arguing. That's how they spelled it. Don't be arguing with no commenter or no follower about them. They don't need you to fight their battle. Don't be talking about them, about their corporate policies or their associates. Nah. That's how I'm reading it. I'm reading it, y'all. I'm just translating. Thank you, Cam. <laughs> Welcome back. I think I seen you on here before, right? Welcome back. Guess what? It's a droid. It's my Android phone and a good ring light. And Vaseline give me a little glow. You know. Y'all get it with the moderating? So make sure you're moderating your content. It's even a way to do that if you got your TikTok page going on here. You ain't got to let everybody post on your page. You can moderate them comments. I moderate everything that come on our page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, when it comes to images, y'all know we post our pictures. We be doing it for the gram. What is a green robot, BB Cakes? Are you a real person? Oh. <laughs> no images of you bullying. So the video that come to mind that we've seen a lot on TikTok was when the whole egg cracking on a baby's head was a challenge for some reason. To crack a egg on a baby's head. Oh, <laughs> see, don't start. But y'all like our cameras, though. Look at that angle. Don't start. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they don't want to see you on there bullying nobody. Mm -hmm. Don says it's time to build up those profiles they said no over sexualized content or extreme sexual references so if you on there with your clivage out y'all know what I'm talking about you on there with no clothes on showing more skin than not your swimsuit and all that unless you sell that type of stuff in your business they like for what why take it off and not your clothes. Take that off your social media. They'll take time back. <laughs> so, no profanity, no violence. Don't be on there cussing for God, threatening people. Um, and then they don't want to see other visible brands. So, if you know you're doing applying for a grant sponsored by a store or a um, yeah, let's use a store. They don't want to see their competitor's brand. You know how everybody sell their own version of the off-brand of something? They don't want to see that in your background, in your photos, in your videos, etc. They don't want those visible brands. But, I'm going to tell you what they do want. I was in a hurry right now because, whew. People who appear to have not provided consent. Yes! So, y'all know how. You be filming some stuff and people in the background or you filming some stuff and kids in the background they said if they can tell that the people in the background of your posts like your pictures and videos did not give you consent to be there you instantly just disqualified yourself so it's good to verbalize on screen do i have your permission to record is it okay that i'm recording hey i'm recording like making the announcement Giving the person the time to process that, acknowledging it, and then let them making the decision whether or not they're going to stay in frame, etc. So y'all see the people at the gym and people be walking by. Sometimes, you know, the filmer gets mad. You at the gym, you in a personal place. Now, yes, I know you don't. What is it? There is no re you cannot have a reasonable expectation of privacy once you leave your house. Sometimes in your house you can't because they be busting in people's house and killing people. But still. When you leave the house, you know what CeeLo Sage, as soon as you walk out the house, you're on stage. Uh-huh. So you know cameras on your street, on your corner. Your phone in your pocket is docking you. You know. Uh, but make sure. 
<laughs> that the other people you involve <laughs> in your recordings and your filming and your your pictures know that they're being filmed and recorded and have verbalized promission to be there. Okay, because that's they looking at. Y'all, let me know if y'all have questions. Is this helping you? You got any aha moments or takeaways? We really dive into what this part of your social media presence should look like as you're applying for these grants. We talk about it more in the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. We got five spots I'm sending out welcome packages to when you come join us. It's only $97 one-time payment. We're hanging out next weekend. Yeah, for our first office hour in February. We do every first Saturday live on Zoom. So if you have more questions about this, we can definitely dive into it there. Um, you get all the TikTok replays. Do y'all know that this is episode 118? I've been here with y'all exactly eight months. And right here, I've been right here teaching y'all about grants. Getting grants. Finding grants. What grants are looking for. What they want. Why you probably ain't getting them, sis. How to improve your applications, how to stand out with confidence, where to go find them, what they mean, how to qualify. We didn't talk about so much. Thank you, April. So I'm glad this is helping y'all. Let's keep going. Y'all want to keep going or y'all want to, y'all had enough? Is this, is this, this is kind of lighter than our other two lives. So people, uh, we were left with like two people the other day. Like we, we, we didn't come here for this. Hello, queen body. Y'all want to talk more about this? I got some more notes now. Um, because when it comes to your content on your social media, they're looking for you to represent your business brand. I mean, think about it. Y'all asking them for thousands of dollars, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars on these grant applications. And so they like, oh, well, you better have it together. So before they put a ring on it, they're like, mm -mm, what you bring to the table? <laughs> this is a great ask what you bring to the table. So they said you must have high quality and creative content. That means scammers and stalkers that are on here live with us right now. Don't be stealing people's stuff. Stop stealing their videos, their content. Stop going on people's lives and on their pages and hearing their thoughts and passing them off as your own. Or acting like you don't remember who said it. You don't know who to tag to give credit. You want to put anonymous. You know that one anonymous. You know exactly where you got that from. Be creative. Okay? All right. Because now if you're on that line, now they done caught you. Because they know they heard it somewhere else. Because that's who they fit to give a grant check to. Because you're on here line. Okay. So you must not be repetitive on your post. Okay, don't be posting the same thing every day. Get creative. Use that tool between your two shoulders. It's up here. Right here. Mm -hmm. um, they want you to have clear pictures, clear videos. Because, again, this, these are people that they're specifically hiring to go and just dive into everything that you've posted. So, hopefully, this is getting your wheels turning as to what to go to clean up. On your social medias, your business social medias, start there first. Those are the ones that I will put on the grant applications when they ask for your socials. And then you want to show them that you are on brand with you, what your business does, who you do it for, and the grant itself. They like, we're gonna be sharing you if we give you this grant, we'll share you on our socials. We want you to do the same thing, but we gotta what you be putting on your stuff because our stuff be right. So what I would do is start with that grants socials, what they posted. Usually they winners. Use the information about the grant, about their partners, where the money's coming from, when the deadline is. They keep it on brand with what they know to be known for. Even if it's seasonal. This month we're talking about this. This month we're talking about that. Makes sense? Okay. It said include the sponsor's logos. So, for example, if the grant is backed by, now I'm talking about we're in the private grant sector. So that means our money doesn't come from the government per se. We're not nonprofit. So this is for profit private sector grant funding where big banks, large corporations, big stores, franchises, etc. pull together this money. They usually find a business training and development program or a business focused organization for women to send money to in the millions of dollars and they like you guys distribute this in the front of the grant we're just the grant check writers but here's what 
in the background, we want to make sure it's not happening. Because see, what we're not going to do is give our money to somebody who's bad-mouthing us and supporting our competitors and fighting with folks in the comments and looking like a bully online. Here's who we want to align this money with. Because we're trying to look good as well for giving the money. Everybody has an agenda. Everybody got something to sell, right? Wrong. Okay. So, if you know the grant is backed by a certain store, don't be rocking. Like, this is a five below T. If I'm pl applying for a five below grant, this is fine. They're like, oh, she got on our Black History line. But if I'm applying for a Target grant, I might have to lean down a little bit and talk. Because all they know is I got a black t-shirt on from Target. And I got a point to make on that social media. About. So, they like, don't be promoting our competitors either. Y'all get it? I think it makes sense. It makes sense in my head. If you got it, put got it. Okay, let me know you're getting this. Any questions? What y'all got? Any questions? Dawn said she got it. Tracy says it's making sense. Phyllis got it. April got it. Stacy got it. Okay. Y'all got any questions? How did I get started? Well, back in 19, so <laughs> in my personal life, I won over $1 million in grants and grant funded opportunities. Everything from school to housing to things you just can't imagine. Like, I didn't know you could get grants for that. I got it. Mm -hmm. Then I came to the personal or the professional space back in 2020. Won my first thousand dollar business grant. And here we are in 2024. I had to think about that. We've won over $51,200. So I got started because somebody shared opportunities like I'm doing with y'all. They asked, Have you heard about these things called grants? Here's a list of grants. I'm sending a free, three free list of grants to y'all when you come join me in the mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com. You get to go through the list and apply like I did. Won my first one and was hooked. And now we've won so much stuff. <laughs> we still winning. And now the Black Women and Grants community is winning collectively. Without me and my numbers, they've won $76,200 in the last 90 days just from six ladies going out and applying what I teach y'all over at blackwomenandgrants.com and on these lives. And in the mentorship. You feel me? So that's a little bit about how I got started. More of my founder story. Like when I started winning money at nine years old. And was filmed for CNN television. Mm -hmm. The film crew came out to my neighborhood. Low income. Neighborhood. Filmed me. Gave me a check. For winning. That's really when it started. Really my mama got me started in this. So uh. That's just a little. How I got started. Okay. But um, I tell all of my story in the Finding Funding ebook over at blackwomeningrants.com. So go check us out. I did write a book, Tracy. You got the book, don't you? I got 17 books actually. I am very Googleable. But as far as how I got started in grants, the book is over at blackwomeningrants.com. It's included in the mentorship program. And that's what I do. I think I missed a comment. How often do I conduct mentorships? My mentorship is ongoing at the moment. Um... Some emails, y'all. So we got five spots in the mentorship program. I'm emailing y'all out the welcome packet today um, while I'm live. And we got about 20 more minutes left together. All right, Lisa, if you're here, I just responded to your email. I know sometimes she comes and joins us. Um, so let me know what questions y'all got. Hey, Angie. Now, let's wrap this up with 
the fact that they are looking yes angie it's blackwomeningrants.com is the website and it's also linked in the profile here on tiktok um when it comes to what you write aka your copy on your social media posts Grants want you to be natural. They want you to talk in your own voice and tone. So if you're humorous, if you're witty, if you're funny, if you're energetic, upbeat, positive, approachable, they want to see all that in your posts, okay? Um, and it's okay to, you know, quote scripture, as Tootie mentioned earlier. Do it with a little, put your little stank on it, you know? Don't put it in a way that someone can literally copy and paste without it sounding like you. You feel me? That's how I look at it. And then finally, when it comes to your post, they said, again, no extreme political commentary. So they don't care about your politics. OK, um, no activism or polarizing things or contents. There's a time and place for that. But when it comes to your business, social media page, check yourself. OK, make sure that your content flows with what you're telling a grant that you do in your business. It says no specific references to ongoing or recent tragedies because, again, we know there's a lot going on in the world. Everybody got something to say about it. However, you're applying for a grant for your business. Unless your business helps people recover from tragedies, etc., why is this on your business social media page, sis? We know you want to be heard. You got a voice too, freedom of speech, all that good stuff. However, it ain't what a grant is looking for at this time. So... No mentions of competing partners. We talked about that with the, the person who's writing the check, the brand behind the grant. You don't want to be talking about their competitors. Um, and also, like if you, let's say you had a bad experience, you did a social media post about it or a video, you're talking about your bad experience with this grant check writer or sponsor. They're like, well, you can't be on your socials for your business page giving a call to action for their competitors like i didn't like them really y'all so go to this store and check don't buy this from here but y'all know how we do giving reviews mm -hmm. so if you do product reviews be careful um because if it's not the grant sponsor they don't want to see you engaging in content like that or giving away stuff that their competitors sell or doing like contests centered around that like being at the barber shop or beauty salon don't speak around <laughs> You know, because even in those environments, it usually become an argument and it's just a, a battle of the wits. It ain't even at some point, it ain't even about doctrine no more and, and the actual beliefs of the religion. It's more like, who's right? Or as someone told me recently, I'm right. I'm right. And I'm like, you get to be right. I ain't going to try to take that from you. Be right in your head. But everybody's not going to agree with you. I think you're wrong, but you think you're right. So you be right in your head. You ain't going to get this grant, but you be right, okay? I'll enjoy that right. And I've heard some coaches say you want to be right or you want to be rich. Mm. You got to hold my tongue a little bit longer when you look at it like that, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So you got to be careful. Um, And then finally... They don't want to see content or copy referencing the grant sponsor's brand, product, service that degrades the quality of the product or service of the brand. So if you know it's one of these big box stores, they're behind this grant, but they sell cheap products like, a, you know, whoever you buy cheap products for are from. They know they stuff cheap. <laughs> they don't need you telling the world that they stuff cheap and they're not going to give you no grant. For telling the world that stuff is cheap. So you got to, again, do you want to be right? Do you want to be heard? Do you want to get them two likes on your business page? Or you want to get $10,000, $20,000 from this grant? Not saying you're going to lie, cover things up. They like, just don't address it on your business page. You you have every right to think and feel and say and do what you want. But there are consequences when you break the rules. So my goal is to teach y'all what I call the grant game. And over at blackwomeningrants.com is our grant game mentorship. I'm teaching you how to play the game of grants. It's a game. You got to know the rules. These are the literal written rules. Many are unwritten, but I'm sharing with y'all what I read literally in the terms and conditions of a $10,000 grant that's out there right now that I've seen so many people apply for and they doing it wrong. So I said, let me come do some lives around it. This is wrapping up. 
we've recapped. We started talking about it Monday, Wednesday, and now today recapping and wrapping up this topic on social media, what grants are looking for, because social media usually comes up in the first third of the application. Before they even start asking you about your business good, they want your name, your address, your email, and your socials, usually. Because again, they're going to post, if you win, on their socials and they want you to do the same, but they want to check you out first. And so if they've hired a team to go and scour your socials, what will they find? Has this helped y'all? Giving you any insight? Are you going to go make updates or changes? Let me know. Talk to me. Did any of this help you gain a little bit of clarity as to what should be on your business social media pages when you are out looking at these grant opportunities, applying for these grant opportunities, and freaking out because either you don't have a social, it's not consistent, it's definitely not on brand. These last three parts to this series, we've talked about exactly what a grant wants to see. Stacy says, yes. Thank you, Stacey. What questions can I answer for you? Any questions? Let me know. Let's chat about it. Anyone going to go and do some updates and changes today, <laughs> this weekend, <laughs> over the next few days? Um, because sometimes it's not just your grant application that's getting you disqualified or getting you rejected from these opportunities. It could be another thing that they're just not saying. It could be a combination of things, but wouldn't it be better, feel better for you to go into these opportunities knowing that you've checked all the boxes? Okay, I know it can't be my social because I've been consistent. I follow the rules. Everything is light and upbeat and supportive and positive. So I don't think it's that. And then you're just confidently checking off ways to improve for your next grant application or opportunity or if you decide to go back and apply for the same grant again they can see the improvements that you've made that's how i look at it what y'all think and thank y'all for the 4k likes i see y'all hey y'all if you're new here welcome i'm dr aj austin winner of over fifty-one thousand two hundred dollars in grants and grant funded opportunities i'm so excited to share what i know with y'all but you gotta ask me something over at Black Women in Grants, www.blackwomenandgrants.com is your opportunity to come work with me for a year for only $97. Join our mentorship. Come hang out with us next week on our open office hours. Download and read the Finding Funding ebook. We have an app that'll read the book to you. It's exciting. Uh, Cindy told us that's what she did earlier. Her bupurta, as my little niece used to call it, has read the book to her. And then we have some replays of some grant game master classes, boot camps, and workshops, even how to use AI to apply for grants. But you got to know what you're doing with that one. It's tricky. You got to be careful. So I teach you how to do it right in a way that got me selected. I won out of 500 grant applicants. Uh, my application was selected for a $50,000 opportunity recently. So I know what I'm doing a little bit. Good morning, Beth. What are some of the qualifications for grants? Are they different for each grant? They're different for each grant, but the social media qualifications are pretty standard. So imagine you having the knowledge that you have that I've shared here today in the last two days about social media, and now you go and apply that to your social media pages. You apply for grants differently regardless of what their qualifications are. Um, Cindy says, I'm definitely going to be in class next week. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you there. There's a three-step grant guide in the Grant Game Mentorship for those of you who are in the idea phase. Maybe you haven't gotten started yet. Any idea phasers like you don't have a business yet, but you're thinking about it, put idea in the comments real quick. And then those of you who have launched a business, you've made money, put launched, L-A-U-N-C-H-E-D, launched in the comments. Because I have a three-step grant guide that's going to walk you through a checklist that a grant wants you to start having in place. Can say you're working on these things as a startup. Can say you got these things in place and you're improving these things as a launch business. I have a three-step grant guide that comes with the Grant Game Mentorship. And it's going to help you improve on your grant applications. Hello, Ashley Reagan! Congratulations on graduating the Five Figure Fun Finders. Ashley is officially a grant winner grant applicant, grant graduate, <laughs> all the things, right? So she hung out with us the last four weeks. 
getting a five-figure fun finding formula. Say that five times fast. That's what she just graduated last night, her and Lisa. Um, so if you want that, go to blackwomeningrants.com. Come join us in the mentorship. You got to be in the mentorship program to get into our other trainings, to get the invitations, the exclusive invites like we're doing this weekend. We got some opportunities to come work with me one-on-one -on -one this Saturday. It's a lot going on, but y'all got to be in the crew. You got to join us in one of the five spots that are currently open over at blackwomeningrants.com in the $97 mentorship one-time payment. Join the mentorship and then get your exclusive invitations to join the other trainings that are add-ons and bonuses and yes, separate investments. Okay. Uh, um, how do we know which places to go find real grants? Do a quick search. Queen, have you ever done a quick search online for grants for black women, small business owners? Just use those four key SEO words with an online search and see what pops up and let me know. Right. Congratulations, Ashley. The mentorship program is only 97 bucks over at blackwomeningrants.com. When you get there, you're going to see everything that's in the program that you're signing up for. Um, I also give you a list of my top six most recommended business training and development programs to go and apply to. One, two on that list I know have open applications right now, maybe even more. Um, but these are ones that have scholarships, they have um, grants attached. They're for you if you're starting up your idea for business that you want to get funding for eventually. And they're for you if you're looking to accelerate the progress you've already made in your business and you want to be surrounded by like minds and a cohort and all the trendy words that we call these things. Um, what other questions can I answer for you guys about joining us in the mentorship and what it's like to win grants and find grants and all that good stuff? Um, Bags Boutique. Uh, grants for black women, small business owner, mm -hmm. quick online search, or I can send you the three free list of grants when you join us in one of the mentorship spots in the grant game mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. One time payment, $97 year long access for this program. And then everything that's in the program is laid out at the top of the page over at www.blackwomeningrants.com. Blackwomeningrants.com www.blackwomeningrants.com blackwomeningrants.com mm -hmm. blackwomeningrants.com hallelujah that's our jangle what other questions can I answer for y'all <laughs> let me know what questions Ashley send me your picture Lisa already got her certificate and her graphic for graduating so send me your bio picture okay and I'll get yours to you today I don't want that lingering so get on it, doggone it. Any final questions or takeaways before we go? Y'all talk to me and let me know. Hashtag bars. I know Lisa be on it. So I got to be on it. So we on it. We waiting on you. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Just send a picture. That's it. What other questions do you guys have about anything we've talked about? Anything you want to know about grants and grant funded opportunities, etc.? Now is the time to ask. blackwomeningrants.com Angie www.blackwomeningrants.com blackwomeningrants.com blackwomeningrants.com www.blackwomeningrants.com blackwomeningrants.com black women in grants.com black women in grants.com hey christina any other questions y'all let me know black women in grants.com is the website for the grant game mentorship grabbing one of those spots what's the website black women in grants.com 
<laughs> For real. Oh, in, in, I've been trying to like enunciate black women in grants.com. See, Ashley, it helps. <laughs> when I read black women in grants. Maybe I need to get black women in, black women in, black women in. Yeah. Any other questions? Y'all let me know. You found it. <laughs> Good. <sighs> Is this for business owner for school as well? Just business. For profit, black woman owned, small businesses. As long as you own at least 51% of your business based in the United States of America. This is for you. Hope that helps. Any other questions? Y'all let me know. www.blackwomenengrants.com And uh, let's see. Um, thanks to Angie. Hold on, let me double check. I hope I didn't do that. We also now own blackwomenandgrants.com, just in case that's what y'all thought I was saying. So we got that. Angie, thank you, girl. Now let me find your email, because this must be you over here. All right, all right, all right, all right. How do I get back to my email? Lord, I done lost them. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> See? Problem solved. Easy. Any other questions? Y'all let me know. Let me know. Oh, Ashley, that's a cute picture. Now, I'm only going to be able to fit your head in it, so... You'll see how it come out. Give me a minute. Let me get you to you real quick since we shaking and moving this morning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm so excited about the weekend. Some of you guys, we will be hanging out together. We are doing what's called our 30-minute mini mentorship sessions where you get to come and chat with me. Um, hang out. Get your grant questions answered one-on-one -on -one tomorrow. And get my help. So we're confirming all the spots today. And getting y'all in there. So I hope y'all ready. Any other questions? I don't know why this cuts your head off on this thing, Ashley, but let me see if I can fix it. I don't even know how to fix it. Oh, yes, look at me. Graphic designer. Come on. Okay. I see. Let's see. Oh, and Ashley, we also, I don't know if you caught the part of me and Lisa talking about our TikTok class. So we got the date for that. We've been on it, girl. So um, if you're interested in the TikTok class, we're going to do it in February. Send me your top 10 most burning questions about TikTok. And let me add that into the uh, curriculum. These are so cute. I'm so proud of myself. They're so cute. Okay. How do I? So there is one, I think, if I did it right. Yeah. 
Any other questions, you guys? Let me know. We're at the top of the hour. I'm happy to hang out with you more. But I will. But I will. You know, let me know what you need. So let's see. Did I hear that correctly? Yeah, we're working on workshopping one. We're going to talk about it on next Saturday as well. Kind of workshopping the idea of um, helping you guys grow your TikTok channel if you would like. Um, and so we're workshopping it with some of the mentees. So feel free to put your input if that would be something that you're interested in. And come join our crew and get an invitation. questions about it feel free to ask me more i'm happy to chat about it we just agreed last night that because this is my third request to do a tiktok class about how we grew so fast and all that good stuff so i'm working on putting that together for february so if you want to come join us let me know writers like what like book writers because it really don't matter what you do. There's a grant for any and everything. Have you ever done a search? Grants for black women, small business owners. That's the best way. A quick online search for grants for black women, small business owners is the best way to find grants to apply for, regardless of what you do. Ashley, I just emailed you. Congratulations. That was fast. Any other questions? Y'all let me know. Stacy, are you in the mentorship? Yeah, the ninety-seven dollars. So if you join us on um, the open office hours, we can actually hear your voice as to what you want. We're gonna shop the TikTok class and see what y'all want, or you can share it with me here now. If uh, the TikTok class sounds like something that you would be interested in, even though you don't know what it's gonna be about, but still, you know, <laughs> you'll be the next Saturday. Okay. How long does your business have to be an active to get a grant? You could be a startup. You don't have to be necessarily active. You can be what they call pre-revenue, meaning you haven't made money yet, but you got an idea. So as long as you're showing them that you're taking steps to set up your business and get established, then you're on the right path. So if they say, have you started a social media page? Because that's free. Have you gotten your business EIN or employee identification number? That's free. You got a business name? That's free. You got your logo, your business card, your business bank account? Not? Why not? I give you a list of all the things you need to have in place as you start applying for grants as a new business. Or if you've officially launched a business, you made money, but you're extending and you wanted to do more, it's a checklist. Make sure you have that checked off and ready to go. Yeah, girl. Social media rules and regulations, add restrictions, responsibilities, all the R's. <laughs> yes, girl. For years now, stuck, time to get it done. Well, what you waiting on? 
What what's what what the problem is? You found a site, we done got you to the site. What you what you way now? Trying to figure out which way now. You getting in the class. Is that what we waiting on? We waiting on your order to come through? Are you like on the site registering now? Is that what I hear? Let me know. I wait on you now. Not forever, but you know. Yeah, what I just did. Hold on, let me refresh this and make sure. Did it lit a fire? You ain't tell me nothing, Dawn. It lit a fire under you. What you gonna do now that the fire's lit under you? What that mean? What you doing over there? You uh Signing up too. We waiting on you too. Y'all let me know something because y'all ain't told me nothing. Ain't nobody told me nothing. I'm over here trying to make sure this uh, other site is connected. Now that y'all think I be saying black women and grants. Questions y'all got? <laughs> I'm finna go. I'm finna go. Any final questions, ahas, takeaways that you want to share? Let me know. I'm supposed to be doing something today. I forgot what it was. You know how you remember right before you go to sleep? I knew I would forget. I did not write it down. <laughs> Maybe I need to go take another nap and it'll hit me. I'm finna to go to sleep. I'm about to go lay down. Hallelujah. That's what we fenced to do. I don't know what my Bapruda is doing right now, but I don't like it. What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna turn this light off because it's getting on my nerves. We're about to wrap it up. The club is closing. Who we waiting on? We waiting on you. Tell me to wait. Miko says, I changed my business address to my home so I could get registered in Sam's. Good, because I know them addresses got to match, girl, but I don't teach government contracts or government grants, so I do know that part. I made it that far. And that's probably why I ain't got no Sam's number right now, but God is good. <coughs> I don't know. I don't teach that. Don't ask me. I'm the wrong person to ask about government anything, because I, I ain't in that area. <coughs> So you might have to go do a quick online search and see what it say. Or call that, who is them? That center that they have? I don't know, Chad. I don't know that about it. <coughs> the grants we get and apply for are not government grants. They're private sector grants. Um. Usually from other companies and financial institutions, banks, etc. Them the ones I know about, child.
Any final questions? Let's wrap it up. When you go to blackwomenandgrants.com or blackwomenandgrants.com and you click the option to join us in the mentorship, as long as the button works, when you click register, you're good. Sign up. Go through the full process. Enter your information, not your husband's, not your cousin's. Put yours. Who is signed up for the program? That's whose card we want to see on file. That's whose email address we need so that I can send you your welcome packet. Now, when you get your welcome packet, make sure, number one, you check spam because sometimes my emails go to spam. Get us out of spam. Whitelist us. Then, click the email. Open it. Do what it says. Because it's going to tell you about 10 different places in the welcome back email <coughs> to click to get access. Click to request access. Click here to request access. Guess what you're supposed to do? Click there to request access all 10 times. What to tell you? Because it's registering. Your email address for the learning portals that portion of the portal it's like hey they're trying to get in let them in they want to learn they're trying to get in so just click it it sends me a notification I then send you access to that part of the learning portal I get to know where you are in the program um, you also will have my email address it's me I'm live I'm not a robot yet but uh you got questions you get stuck something's not working there's a glitch in the system just reply to my email let me know I'll help you out as much as I can and uh, make sure you read the email thoroughly it has all your goodies there you don't want to miss anything and just know that I'm here rooting for you so welcome to the grant game for those of you who have come to join us, I'm sending out this last email before I go. But again, if you get to blackwomenandgrants.com or blackwomenandgrants.com and the button works, congratulations and welcome to the grant game. Okay. Angie, I just emailed you. Check your spam. Check your spam. And if it did not come through, reply back to the receipt email for your purchase. That's how it works. And then it'll trigger another email to be sent out, okay? Dawn, are we still waiting on you to register? Let me know. If not, I don't think I'll take a nap. So uh, you owe my sleep time. And you got it. Got it. Thank you, Angie. Glad it came right to you. Wasn't in your spam. Let me know. We gotta try to fix that, but I don't know how, so let me know. Make sure you whitelist us if it was in your spam. Um, what else was I doing before I go lay down and then remember what I forgot? I don't know why this ain't working, but okay, came right. Okay. Maybe we're making progress. Thank you for letting me know. Until we meet again, my friends, remember there's someone somewhere. They're waiting on you to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because it's when you let your light shine. You give others permission to do the same. And when you impact one life as a future grant winner, you impact generations. So thank y'all for being here with me, hanging out, being the generation I got to impact today. It's so much fun. Y'all have a phenomenal rest of your day. God bless. Bye, future grant winners. <laughs>